I want to talk about the whole game, but we got to talk about that third period because I, I don't remember uh, watching a game that the Moose have played where they've been so dominant. I mean, not allowing a shot against a team like Milwaukee. What does that say about your group? Well, that's exactly what we said uh, as soon as the game was over. We didn't give up anything in the, in the third. Even uh, when they pulled their goalie, uh, I thought we'd kind of dictate uh, uh, the way, uh, you know, with the play with the puck, you know, we didn't give up much, you know, we kind of keep them on the outside. Um, it's good for our young group to learn how to defend, you know, and uh, um, I don't know if you remember, but last week when it was 1-1 in Milwaukee, we didn't think we played the right way in the third period, and then we, uh, the game slipped away from us. Uh, we lost 5-1, and I thought tonight was diff a different story where it was 2-2 going into the third. Uh, I thought we played well with the puck. Uh, play uh, well without the puck. We uh, didn't let it uh, get away from us. Uh, instead, we kind of dictate the, the tempo in the, in the game. So uh, it's a good learning experience. There'll be some good clip uh, taken from that third period for sure. Overall, the game, I mean, again, you want to come in here leading the division. You take three out of four in this two game series. Um, did you like the way your team played? Because last you know game, they, they were you held in and then. Milwaukee, of course, pushed back. It happened a little bit here today, but especially in that first period, you guys played a good first period, came back out and got rewarded early in that second. Uh, yeah, no, uh, I, I guys, they know who's uh, who's in the first place. They they look at the standing, and uh, and we have a standing in the dressing room too, just to remind them, you know, uh, who we're chasing, who's chasing us, you know, just to get them ready mentally uh, to face those teams. Uh, but um, like you mentioned. Uh, uh, we gave up two goals late in the second period. I was, uh, I was kind of uh, anxious or curious. No, curious would be a better word to see how we would come out in the third. You know, how we would respond to that. Sometimes giving up two goals and at the end of a second period kind of uh, uh, drain the energy out of your team, especially a young team. But no, uh, we came out strong. Uh, like you mentioned, uh, this is the best team in our division so far this year, and uh, and to come out with three points out of four, man, um, it's a good weekend. What can you say about the penalty kill? I mean, that's seven for seven uh, against Milwaukee this in the last two games. No, no, uh, guys were very confident today. Uh, even with that uh, late, uh, late third period uh, PK, I didn't uh, feel like uh, guys were nervous. They, uh, they kind of embraced the challenge. Uh, we had all three pairs. Uh, uh, really, really strong uh, uh, up front, you know, with Paul I. Jones. I thought those two guys were outstanding on the PK tonight. Obviously, Nikkinen, uh, Raiko, and then you have uh, Malat and uh, Stenland. So uh, all three pair of, uh, were uh, really good. But uh, uh, on defense also, uh, I mean, you got to... You know, we've been, I would not say struggling, but uh, we've been giving up goal every game lately on the PK. Uh, but uh, this weekend, uh, seven for seven, uh, you know, uh, it's a good thing. <laughs> There's been injuries and call-ups that have kind of uh, thrown the forward core in a blender. How big is it to get offense from your defense? Well, it's always been like that the last three years. Uh, we always felt like uh, um, our transition, uh, the offense coming from our D was kind of a key to our team. Uh, obviously, this year we uh, we lost uh, we lost Kobe, we lost Sandberg, uh, Billy was up, uh, Jimmy's been hurt. So, uh, but we knew with uh, Leon, uh, Billy in the lineup, and Chisholm uh, that would bring a lot of offense. Still, um, now Stewart start to contribute offensively. Uh, Landmark and Ashton uh, could uh, could support the attack as well. So. Uh, our team's been like that the last three years. A lot of offense, a lot of transition comes from our uh, from the back end. Even last year when we had uh, a lot more depth up front, uh, everything was starting from the back end. And uh, I feel like uh, it's the same situation this year, especially with those three forwards uh, up with the Jets right now. Uh, if if they don't play well, if they don't transition well, it's hard to get some offense.